what is austere medicine? We believe it's something like this. To my medical reserve corps, this is austere medicine. And this is austere medicine. She's, she's unresponsive. To my medical reserve corps, this is austere medicine. To my MRC, this is austere medicine. The Ventura County Public Health Emergency Preparedness Office, in collaboration with the Tri-Counties Region, held an austere medicine deployment exercise. The title of the exercise was Operation Medical Reserve Corps Roundup. It was held in a remote location in the Ventura County area. Field treatment site, this is field operations one. Go ahead, field operations one. Field treatment site, the cattle have broke through the gates at the arena and have run through the grandstands. We have multiple injuries, several crush injuries, and an unknown number of fatalities. We are requesting all available units to respond. Field operations one, we copy. All available units are responding. <laughs> I'll take it. Right there, I got it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, anybody can hear my voice. Start walking towards me. I can't find my husband. I don't know where my husband is. Oh my god. Oh my god. My leg. Oh my god. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Is that my bone? Okay. We're not just going. Okay, it's clear. We need to check. And if you want to feel her out here, make sure you're doing anything else. Thinking about medevacs, medevacs. Okay, <laughs> Red tag, go by the fence over there. Okay. Okay. Am I on a ball? Come on, Sam. I want someone walking on this side with her. The purpose of this 36 hour exercise was to test and evaluate the ability of the Tri-County Medical Reserve Corps to work together to establish a medical shelter and to respond to and address the medical needs that may be encountered as a result of an event of catastrophic significance. This event created an environment of cross-jurisdictional collaboration and integration of Medical Reserve Corps teams from Ventura, Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, and Marin County. This exercise included instruction and training on the deployment of critical disaster response teams, equipment, and capabilities. Exercises such as this require a tremendous amount of logistical support. Looking at the layout map, you can determine the location of a variety of different facilities designed to support 170 people overnight, the eating areas, the sleeping quarters, the power distribution supplies, the layout of the aid station, where the victims will be all part of a big plan. The supplies supporting this event required 17 trailer loads to be brought to an austere location 30 miles outside of town. The use of Medical Reserve Corps, the use of the EMS agencies, and this collaboration is really going to bode well in an actual disaster. You never know how austere your environment's going to be.